So today I'm joined by a member of the Australian punk band Shortstack, who have just announced they're returning with a brand new album called Maybe There's No Heaven, which is due for release in February of 2022. Welcome to Pario Magazine, Brady Webb. Thanks for having me. How's uh, life treating you at the moment? Excited to be coming back? Life is good, thank you. Um, as we all are aware, the pandemic is seeming slightly less scary these days, so that's always a good thing. So yeah, I'm actually um, I'm having a really good week with the release of our new single and things looking a bit more positive. Okay, that's awesome. And this is going to be the first album back for Short Stack in six years. How are you feeling now that it's been officially announced? It's a really weird feeling when you've been working on something for, I mean, literally now over two years, I think. So yeah, it's kind of nice to have it out there, um, the artwork, and then even now a few singles from that album. It's, it's kind of like um, we had a baby and we finally get to share the news <laughs> because it's something we care about so much. Is that hard sort of keeping it a secret that you are working on something? Yeah, um, it's more, I think you start second guessing yourself when you work on something for so long. Um, I, I'm actually a bit of a perfectionist, so I'm kind of glad people don't get to see it until we're ready. But yeah, I mean, short answer, yes, it is difficult. And why was there such a, a long gap between releases? Um, quite honestly, I think the three of us needed some time um, to look at where our lives were heading because all we've ever really known was uh, playing in a band, which is kind of weird to think that in a ridiculous way we were like child stars. Um, so it was good to take a break for a few years and get a house and have children and be really happy with our lives and then realize that we missed the band so much. Okay. And obviously when you were releasing records previously, Short Stack was a massive part of the Australian music community. Did that make it hard to step away at all? Um, yes and no. It felt right to step away. It felt like we ran out of creative juices and we were a little bit frustrated with the way uh, the band was, you know, we felt like we never got our proper shot at it. Um, and we felt like everyone was wanting us to be a different band than what we were. So um yeah i have zero regrets it felt right to step away when we did and come back when we have okay yeah yourself and sean have previously spoken about that push and pull between what you wanted and what other people wanted from short stack how does this record rectify that tension i think the biggest difference is signing with unified they've just been really amazing it, it's kind of weird as a band you're always second guessing yourselves uh, but every decision we come across, we ask them for their opinion and they just say, do what you want. So that is just a really nice response, I think, when you're trying to be creative. And it just feels like we're just doing what we want. And hopefully lots of people like it, but at least it's very sincere and honest. Would you say this is your favorite record today? By far, yes. Um, I think probably because of where we're at with our lives and we have kids and I'm just so excited to show my son the whole thing. And he's probably going to see us when we play our shows next year. Um, and it's funny because when we announced our tour, I think it was only one, but now because everything's been delayed, he'll be four years old, I think when we play. So it's just really nice that he understands what music is. And yeah, it's like on an emotional level, it's something I'm really proud of. And obviously being more mature musicians and people, do you feel that comes through in this new record as well? Yeah, definitely. I think Sean's voice has dropped a few octaves from when we were 16. <laughs> That's the obvious one. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I've, I've been teaching drums now for, I think, five years. So I think I've literally uh, doubled my skills in the last five years. So that was kind of nice to show off um show off those skills with a new album uh just personally speaking as a drummer as well yeah and you mentioned this tour that has sort of been off and on multiple times 
Uh, I believe it was originally just going to be like a reunion tour and a tour only. What then made you want to create a record and come back into it full time? I think I was the one that was most hesitant at first um, because I, I liked where my life was heading and I, it's almost like a bit of, um, uh, it's like flashing back to the worst parts of the band and worrying that we might head down that way. But as we started to do it again and, and we had Unified involved, everything kind of just, um, the stars aligned and it just seemed like a good fit to have that in my life again. So eventually I think we all got used to the idea that, um, yeah, we actually do want to do this full time again. Um, and so far we haven't broken up yet, but we haven't toured yet. So you never know. What was it that initially got them to help talk you into doing the tour in the first place? Um, I honestly, it sounds a bit cheesy, but it felt like there was enough people wanting to see us. And I know that that's, I feel very, very special and honored to be able to say this, but I think we do mean a lot to a lot of, um, they used to be kids, but they're now a similar age to me, of course, but at the time they were teenagers. And I think we meant a lot to the teenagers that were maybe a little bit troubled in some way and maybe had not the best home life. And of course we had all types of fans, but I think to be able to play again now and um, connect with those people again, it's a really special opportunity that you can't really turn down. Yeah. I imagine it's extra special knowing that they've stuck around after all of these years as well. They haven't just forgotten about you. Exactly. Yeah. There was, we could definitely tell that they wanted to see us again and stick around. You're right. And you mentioned sort of the, the difficult times as well uh, with that big fame at an early age, there's obviously the online trolls. How did you guys deal with that? We never really had a, an issue with that. I remember it was a big, it was a big talking point early on because this is, I'm so old that this was around the time when YouTube was new, which sounds insane to me to be able to say that. But I remember it was a thing at first, everyone would ask us, how do we deal with haters <laughs> and people that would just literally just say mean things. Um, but now of course, with the internet being as old as it is, we're all aware that there's just always going to be those people um, that say horrible things, no matter how good your art is. So yeah, we developed thick skin really early on um, and now I think what we're doing, even if it's not for everyone, I know it's good. So if someone says it's the worst thing they've ever heard, I can't really take them seriously. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's a good thing to have coming into this new record as well. Yeah. And with the announcement of the record, we got a, a little teaser with the first single love you like I used to, is this a good example of what's to come from the full record? I think this song is the most pop song and it's probably the one we spent the most amount of time going back and forth on. Um, so in a way, yes, it's definitely a more mature sound, I think, but, um, yeah, we're kind of unapologetically a, a rock band, I think on this record. Um, and the hooks are still there. But I think some of the other tracks might surprise people with where I put this. They're not they're not as commercial, I guess, as Love You Like I used to. Okay. Is that the sort of thing that was you were being prevented from going down that path previously? That's a good question. I think um yeah, I think there's always we're always hesitant to make something that sounds very pop i think because people wanted to put us in that box early on we're always a little bit scared to go back there but um yeah i don't know for whatever reason this one just needed um a lot of work in the studio and i'm glad we put so many hours in because i think it turned out really really nice i guess if this is the most pop sounding of the songs it's a really good way to get people to in reintroduce yourselves to them and then Hey, come and have a look and check out the, the heavier stuff that's on the rest of the record. That's right. And it's my mom's favorite song. So I'm glad we made it. Oh, that's definitely the, the perfect choice for the first single then if mom loves it. Yeah, exactly. And then in June next year, 
the, the tour is finally going to take place, touch wood. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of that? Yeah, uh, we're pretty nervous, to be honest, because uh, the reaction to our, our music being released, uh, you know, um, before the album's out, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the general fan reaction has been a bit overwhelming, so now it feels like there's a lot of pressure on the three of us, but, um, yeah, obviously we're extremely excited, and like every other band in the entire world, we just, now having to wait longer, it's, it's, um, it's even more exciting to be able to get up on stage. Yeah, I guess with everything that's happening now as well, it's a little bit worrying that the tour might not go ahead again. Yeah, we've definitely had every single week we have a Zoom call, the three of us with our management, and um, every single week we go back and forth whether it might go ahead or might not. But I think we've just learned that it will happen eventually and uh, we're very confident that it will happen this time. Uh, and then in closing, is there anything that you want to sort of say to those fans that have stuck around between releases? I think um, in a way, I just want to say a very, very sincere thank you, because I think I never truly appreciated what we might have meant to some people until now that I'm older and I work with children. So I realize how tough it can be uh, to be a teenager and you're going through some really hard times at school or even at home. So I just, I guess I would want them to know that I, I really appreciate them and their love and their, their support through the years. And I kind of understand it more. So I guess I would like them to know that. Okay. Awesome. And then finally, where's the best place for people to follow the band and keep track of this tour and creative journey moving forward? I think our Facebook is always updated. Um, but yeah, if, if you're on Spotify or Apple Music, um, you should see all of our latest releases. And I would encourage people to, to like and follow and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure a quick Google, you'll see our name popping up over the next year. Yep. Easy. Alrighty. Thank you so much for taking the time and good luck with the release and then the, the tour next year. Thank you very, very much.